before we begin on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this video, you should be able to define arithmetic sequence. Identify arithmetic sequence in a list of sequences. Derive the formula for arithmetic sequence. Illustrate arithmetic sequence. And find the end term of an arithmetic sequence. Let's begin. Observe and recognize the pattern given. This figure illustrates a sequence with five terms. The numerical representation of this figure is 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Each term added a constant number of 3 to get the next term which makes the rule add 3. The rule or the constant number added in each term is what we call the common difference. That makes this sequence an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is also known as the arithmetic progression. By definition, arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term added a constant number to get the next term. This constant number, usually denoted by small letter d, is what we call the common difference. The common difference can be a positive or a negative. If we have an increasing arithmetic sequence, the common difference is positive. If we have a decreasing arithmetic sequence, the common difference is negative. Given that we have an arithmetic sequence, 23, 30, 37, 44, 51. The common difference can be obtained by getting the difference of two consecutive terms. Let us try to find the common difference in a given arithmetic sequence. The second term 30 minus the first term 23 is 7. The third term 37 minus the second term 30 is also 7. The fourth term 44 minus the third term 37 gives you 7. Lastly, the fifth term 51 minus the fourth term 44 is also equal to 7. Since the difference in each consecutive terms is 7, therefore we can say that the common difference is 7. In symbol, we have d is equal to 7. Since the common difference is positive, therefore we can say that we have an example of an increasing arithmetic sequence. Let's have another example. Let's identify if the number pattern 19, 13, 7, 1, negative 5 is an example of arithmetic sequence. First, let's identify the common difference. The second term 13 minus the first term 19 is equal to negative 6. The third term 7 minus the second term 13 gives you negative 6. The fourth term 1 minus the third term 7 is equal to negative 6. The fifth term negative 5 minus the fourth term 1 will gives us negative 6. Since we have a negative 6 for the common difference, or in symbol, d is equal to negative 6, therefore we can conclude that this is an example of arithmetic sequence. Let's try to solve another example. We will determine if this is an example of arithmetic sequence. 10, 7, 4, 1, 0. Let's begin by getting the common difference. The second term 7 minus the first term 10 is equal to negative 3. The third term 4 minus the second term 7 is also negative 3. The fourth term 1 minus the third term 4 is equal to negative 3. Lastly, the fifth term 0 minus the fourth term 1 is equal to negative 1. You will notice that we don't have a common difference. Therefore, we can conclude that this is not an example of arithmetic sequence. Let's discover how can we solve this problem. 
The arithmetic sequence has five terms. The first term is negative 3. Each term is added by 4. What is the arithmetic sequence? Since we're looking for 5 terms, we can draw 5 squares corresponding in each term. We have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Since the first term is negative 3, we can substitute a sub 1 by negative 3. Also, each term is added by 4. Therefore, the common difference is 4. Thus, the rule is plus 4. We can now solve the remaining terms. Negative 3 plus 4 is equal to a sub 2, which is 1. 1 plus 4 is equal to a sub 3, which is 5. 5 plus 4 is equal to a sub 4, which is 9. And 9 plus 4 is equal to a sub 5, which is 13. Therefore, we can conclude that the, that the five terms are negative 3, 1, 5, 9, and 13. 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, and so on is an example of an infinite sequence. Since we don't have any last term, we all know that the common difference is 4. Since we add 4 in each terms, to get the next term. In symbol, we have d is equal to 4. Also, we know that 3 is our first term denoted by a sub 1, 7 for a sub 2, 11 for a sub 3, 15 for a sub 4, and 19 for a sub 5. What about the 100th term? Are we going to list all the first 100 terms just to find out what the hundredth term is? If your answer is no, then you are right. We need to find a formula that will help us easily find the value of the hundredth term. In order to find the hundredth term in the sequence given, first we need to derive the formula for arithmetic sequence. Then we can use the formula to solve the hundredth term. Help me derive the formula for arithmetic sequence. Let's get started by putting the arithmetic sequence in a table and observe each terms. a sub 1 is equal to 3, 7 for a sub 2, 11 for a sub 3, 15 for a sub 4, 19 for a sub 5, and the pattern continues. We will find what is in a sub n or the n term. We can rewrite the table by only using the value of a sub 1, which is 3, and the rule in the sequence, add 4. a sub 2 can be written in the form 3 plus 4. a sub 3 can be written by adding 4, which makes it 3 plus 4 plus 4. a sub 4 can be written by adding 4, which makes it 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 a sub 5 can be written by adding another 4, which makes it 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. How else can we write the terms? Let's try to simplify each term. a sub 1 is equal to 3. a sub 2 is equal to 3 plus 1 times 4, since 1 times 4 is equal to 4. a sub 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 times 4 a sub 4 is equal to 3 plus 3 times 4. a sub 5 is equal to 3 plus 4 times 4. In general, the first n term of the sequence given d is equal to 4 and a sub 1 is equal to 3 are the following. a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus d. a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus 2d. a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus 3d. a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4d. And the pattern continues. You will easily notice based on the pattern given that in order for you to get any term in the sequence, you can use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times t, wherein n is the term you are looking. 
This is what we call the formula for arithmetic sequence. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, wherein A sub n is the nth term. The A sub 1 is our first term. n is the number of terms. And d is the common difference. If you are looking for the 100th term, then your A sub n is A sub 100 and your n is equal to 100. Since we already have the formula for arithmetic sequence, we can now easily find the 100th term in the sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, and so on without listing all the 100th terms. Let's begin by identifying the given values. Since we're looking for the 100th term, then we are tasked to find a sub 100. What is the first term? Yes, the first term is 3, or a sub 1 is equal to 3. What about the n? Since we're looking for the 100th term, then our n is equal to 100. How about the common difference? You can easily notice that you add 4 in each term to get the next term. We can conclude that d is equal to 4. After identifying the given values, we can now apply the formula. The formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. After writing the formula, we can now solve. But let's start by substitution. Substitute the given values a sub n is equal to a sub 100, a sub 1 is equal to 3, n is equal to 100, d is equal to 4. Let's start by solving what's inside the parentheses. 100 minus 1 is 99. So we have a sub 100 is equal to 3 plus 99 times 4. Then, we will get the product of 99 and 4. 99 times 4 is 396. So, we have a sub 100 is equal to 3 plus 396. Then, we can now get the total of 3 and 396, which is 399. Therefore, we can say that our 100 term or a sub 100 is 399. Let's have another example. Find the 27th term of the arithmetic sequence 35, 29, 23, 18, 12, and the pattern continues. We are tasked to find the a sub 27 or the 27th term. Let's identify the given values. Our a sub 1 or, or our first term is 35. Since we're looking for the 27th term, then our n is equal to 27. You can easily notice that our common difference is negative 6 since we subtract 6 in each term to get the next term. After identifying the given values, we can now write the formula. The formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. After writing the formula, we can now apply substitution. Substitute the given values. a sub n is equal to a sub 27. a sub 1 is equal to 35. n is equal to 27. And d is is equal to negative 6. So we have a sub 27 is equal to 35 plus quantity 27 minus 1 times negative 6. After substitution, we can now solve. Using the PEMDAS rule, we will start inside the parentheses. 27 minus 1 is 26. So we have a sub 27 is equal to 35 plus 26 times negative 6. Then, 
we can get the product of 26 and negative 6. 26 times negative 6 is negative 156. Thus, we have a sub 27 is equal to 35 plus negative 156. Lastly, 35 plus negative 156 will give us negative 121. And that is our A sub 27 or the 27th term in the given arithmetic sequence. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something today. Please consider like and share this video to your classmates and friends. This is Sir Josh, signing off.